Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Mila. I make videos about traveling and in today's video I want to just make a short video and talk shortly about can you travel during the pandemic and what things you should think about before traveling. And the short answer is yes, you can travel during the pandemic. Of course, it's gonna be a bit more challenging with all the rules and regulations, but in this video I'm gonna give you some quick tips to hopefully help you for your next trip and make traveling a bit more convenient for you. So of course, I really miss those days where it, traveling was just so easy, you didn't really need to think about the regulations and entry restrictions and things like that and so yeah but in this video I'm just gonna give you some tips to make your travel a bit easier even though it's not as easy as it was a few years back so let's get into it so travel restrictions change all the time so you have to stay updated on the travel restrictions in your destination so whenever you're traveling to a destination you need to keep in mind two things where are you traveling to and where are you traveling from so these entry restrictions of course they change so quickly and it's up to you and you're solely responsible for keeping yourself up to date with these restrictions thankfully information today is very easily available so with a quick google search you can make sure that you are up to date with the entry restriction of your destination of course you need to keep in mind that you check valid and trustworthy resources so for example government websites or some governments even have their own information websites for covid rules you need to check those so you are sure that you have information from uh, from a reliable source that you can trust and it's also good to make sure that you check the requirements and restrictions before you book a trip so you aren't then disappointed when you have to go that oh these are all the things that i need to think about and it's always good to check the entry requirements and restrictions before you book a trip and also before you fly there or however you're gonna get to your destination because if you book something without checking the restrictions you can get really surprised about the restrictions that you need to follow in order to get there or even if you you know you're going somewhere and you have to uh, quarantine yourself for like 10 days then you know if you have a short trip what's the point of going so make sure to check the entry requirements before you book a trip and also right before your flight so even though many countries are actually open for at least fully vaccinated travelers there are some countries that still require you to quarantine for an amount of days or some countries require you to provide a proof of travel insurance so you know make sure to check those before you travel somewhere some countries also require you to fill in additional forms and documents when you travel so before you enter a new country make sure that you have these like documents and forms available and again these are usually available as well on the government websites or the websites where there are valid information about the covid restrictions that is up to date so for example uh, some common forms in europe is uh, a passenger locator form or some sort of an agreement which you have to just click agree that you you agree on not to travel to the country if you are sick some airlines also inform you about these documents and forms that you need to fill out but you are still responsible that you have all these available so just make sure that you are up to date on these because if you enter a country and you don't have these forms available then you know it's your fault you can't really blame it on anyone even the airline that you're flying with because it's up to you to have everything um, ready and also regarding regarding passenger locator forms or other documents you are usually reminded of them when you check in at the airport or latest at the gate so you know but it's it's just more hassle free to have these like pre-filled and ready to go so you don't need to go through the hassle of filling these in the airport where you're already stressed enough so you know just make sure that you have everything ready do you need to quarantine so as said some countries still need you or require you to quarantine in a specific place for a specific amount of days and if you have just a short trip if you have like a one week or two week trip coming up 
and then you need to quarantine you know it, there, is there really a point of going to that country or should you wait so just make sure that you get can get in and you have enough time to enjoy the country so you don't need to spend your whole holiday in quarantine can you get back home so depending on where you're traveling from it's always good to check that you can actually enter your home country uh, without any issues when you get back home also make sure that you check the country's uh, restriction in case you have a layover in some country on your departure or return flight so for example when we traveled this summer back from mexico to finland we had a layover in germany and even though finland didn't require us to have a proof of a negative test result uh, germany did so at the time when we flew from mexico city back to finland and we had a layover in frankfurt germany we still needed to have this negative test result ready so that we could enter or board the flight so it's good to check the restrictions for your country of destination and also if you have a layover in some area then what are the restrictions there so just make sure that you have everything all the information uh, needed so uh, in conclusion travel is certainly not impossible during the pandemic but it is not as hassle-free as it was a few years back however i hope the things that i mentioned in this video made sense and maybe you know gave you some clarity on the things that you should check uh, before you travel somewhere so I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope this was helpful and I just hope this made sense because <laughs> there's a lot of things and rules changing all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to watch this one and make sure to follow me here on YouTube and I will see you in the next video. Bye!